Well, hey, good deal, you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you back in the boat shop with us. What I'm sitting in is our 1983 25-foot pursuit project boat. Just a couple of episodes back, we started the process of getting this boat ready for a do-it-yourself paint job. We removed the bow pulpit from the craft, we took off the bow rail, we took off the molded fiberglass hard top, the windshield, all kinds of stuff, in order to start the process of fixing some of the damaged areas. We had some spider cracking issues, and we showed you how to deal with some spider cracking issues. Well, today on the program, we're going to get even more into that topic. We're also going to talk about molded non-skids, all right? I had some very aggressive molded in non-skid that came original from the factory, Pursuit, okay, back in 1983, and it worked very effectively. However, it was so sharp, it was so pointy, that I would have to use some type of a rag or padding in order to kneel on it. Now, I've got little kids, and you get out on the water and, and somebody falls. Well, the last thing I want is one of my kids to have the hide ripped off of them because of this non-skid, okay? We want non-skid, we want traction, but I'm thinking maybe we could go a little different route. I wanna grind it all off, I wanna put in some fairing compounds, sand everything, and then paint it. But this time, the non-skid that I'm gonna go with is going to work, but it's gonna be friendly. I'm gonna show you how to suspend it in paint. We're gonna roll it out. Now, you might have a molded pattern of non-skid where a sinker's hit it, or maybe you've got a hole where, where a seat used to be, or, or some delamination. Well, today, we're gonna show you how to repair the patterned non-skid. Very, very incredible stuff and wait until we get into the issue of dealing with a bootstripe, a decorative bootstripe border for the boat. But guess what, before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've gotta get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here in the boat shop. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all gonna be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape and I better get to work here. I got a lot of grinding. Well, thanks, Buck. I want to bring you up to speed with what we have done to the hull sides in order to get it ready for paint today here at Ship Shape TV. If you'll recall, we had some varying degrees of spider cracking issues on the outer hull. If a spider crack gets pretty deep and goes into the fiberglass chop strand mat, okay, and, and that's a cosmetic fiberglass that they put into the outer skin of the boat, and that's to mask off the print pattern of the structural fiberglass, okay, if a spider crack goes into that, you're going to need to grind into the boat, grind into that fiberglass chop strand mat, and you're going to need to laminate in some new fiberglass chop strand mat. Now this boat was originally built with polyester resin, okay? So what we used for the repair there was polyester resin, okay? We want things to stick to one another. We want things to bond, all right? So we want to use the same material. But we also had some less dramatic spider cracks in the outer hull. Now here we can just kind of grind those out and not go into any fiberglass at all, and we can use some type of a putty or a body filler but we need to make sure that things are gonna stick because here's where we're trying to go with this. We're trying to take a fiberglass part that has polyester-based gel coat over top of it, and we're trying to get a polyurethane paint. We're gonna be using Interlux's Perfection paint. It's a do-it-yourself polyurethane paint, great paint, all right? We're trying to get that to stick to the fiberglass part. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that the putties are going to be compatible with not only the boat, the polyester on the boat, but also the polyurethane, all right? It's called a tie coat type of system. We selected 3M's premium filler here. It's a vinyl lester type of filler, all right? And we use that. Now, once we sanded it all down using 80 grit, we put something else that's going to tie the gel coat and the fiberglass to the polyurethane paint. We used a primer that Perfection puts out. We rolled it all over the hull. And what I've been doing for the last couple of days 
is I've been sanding it with 400 grit paper. Now I'm just about done with, with the sanding process. Once it gets completed, we're going to wipe down all the dust using some denatured alcohol. And we're going to tack rag the boat. That's going to get any fine particulate off of the surface so we get a nice, shiny paint job, OK? But we're painting here in the boat shop, and we have a concrete floor. Here's a little tip. If you're painting over a concrete floor, put down some water, OK? That's going to settle the dust that's in the air right out of your paint job. You're going to get a great paint job this way. Now, we need to mix this paint up, all right? It's two-part formulation, all right? And we need to let it set for a little while, OK? Just a little while so that it kind of tacks up. We'll come back, and we're going to roll it using a roller that will kind of handle solvents, OK? Because this is solvents. You've got to make sure you're wearing the, the proper protective gear, OK? But with the foam roller, we're going to roll out about a three-foot section. Another man's going to come back immediately behind him with a good quality animal hairbrush, and that's key, you got to have it. And we're going to brush this paint that's just been rolled. And it's going to flow out, OK? And eventually, it's going to look fantastic. But the first coat that you put on, you're going to stand back, you're going to look at your work, and you're going to go, what in the world was John talking about? This boat doesn't look that great yet. It's OK. You, you don't have enough paint on. you got to let it set up. Come back the next day, lightly sand it with 400 grit. Wipe it down with the denatured alcohol. Tack rag it again and do the whole process over again. Put a second coat on. Do it a third time. After that third coat, man, you're going to sit there and be so proud of the paint job you just did. Well, hey, right now, we need to take another time out. But keep it right here because when we come back, we're going to be dealing with paint and non-skid on the inside of the boat for traction. It's really cool information, and we'll get into it right after this.